So I am back with day two of our healthy hair and wig wearing regimens and routines to regrow our edges. So I just got off work like I did yesterday when I recorded the first video that's on this channel. And like I stated, in order to start forming better hair habits, the first thing you wanna do after you come home from a long days of work is not continue to sit in this wig. It's been on your head for eight hours or more, however long you, your shift is, and you want to give your own hair some time to breathe. The wig is looking cute, but we gotta take it off. And like I said, these are glueless wigs. For those who didn't see my video yesterday, it looks like it's tight and glued down, but it's not. I'm rocking the elastic band that came with the wig that I sewed onto the wig and the adjustable straps that came with the wig. So that's what I have on and then I just have a little bit of got to be glue gel that's holding down the baby hairs, but that's really it. So I'm gonna go in with our water bottle. As such, start wetting the baby hair so we can slide this bad boy off. I couldn't wait for me to get off work so I can rush here and get the wig off and record myself doing so. So we just gonna take it off. It's not glued down at all. It's just sitting on there. And what's so funny about this wig and what's so good and helpful is that once you bond down the baby hairs, they'll stay. So all you gotta do is keep wetting, wetting them when, you know, right before application or just wetting your hairline, popping your wig back on, you know, molding your baby hairs back in place and tying it down with a hair tie. That's the only security you need. And that's gonna make your, let, your wig stay on all day long. You ain't gotta worry about it. So this is the ugly truth. And this is what we are trying to get a handle back on. So the first step, like I said, is y'all gotta come out them wigs. Don't spend no more time in them than is needed. Take them off. My hair is probably like, thank you, Jesus. We can breathe. And a lot of people don't listen to their hair. A lot of people's hair does speak to them. But that's something that we do not pay enough attention to at all. Let me lift this camera up a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to go in with some alcohol. This is the 90, 91% for the cotton ball. And we're just going to get that uh, excess got to be from our forehead. Because we don't want to create any breakouts, any acne for one. And just any irritation from the glue. And we're going to start getting control of this darn hairline because when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, y'all, <laughs> that's when you're going to start doing something a little bit different and better with your situation. And yes, I do have a tan on my forehead. <laughs> I guess I was Caucasian up here and Negro down here, but yeah, we're going to get together. You know you a true wig wearer when you have the separation of skin tone coloration this been hiding in the dark this here been exposed to the light but what's done in the dark like they say will come to the light if that ain't the truth i don't know what it is let me take my little bands out and that was just to help ladies little twist flatter under my uh, wig so i don't have any bulging or sticking out anything sticking up in the wig and the rubber bands wasn't wrapped tight. There's no hair, no hair caught in the rubber bands, nothing. Cause I only had it wrapped around like two, maybe three times, just enough to hold it down. So don't wrap your hair tight either. We're not doing any hair, tight hairstyles. No braids, no nothing. No ponytails, nothing. That's not what we doing. And it's the other rubber band. And it's moisturized. Even the rubber band is moisturized. That lets you know that I have moisture in my hair. I was going to go in and actually redo it, but I did it yesterday. So, I'm just going to tell y'all what I use because I don't think I need it. I'm just going to put some more around my edges. And this is going to be our routine for today. Let me tell you what I use. I'm just going in. What I used was the old school Blue Magic Grease. And like I said, I umped up this grease pumped it up and put it on steroids because I put essential oils in here. I did the tea tree. 
I put in the, uh oh, I knew I was gonna drop something. God darn. Tea tree, I put in some peppermint essential oil. I did the uh, Jamaican black castor oil, which gives it a darker tinge to a tint to the grease. And I also put in some rosemary oil. Got all of this in there and my hair is already moisturized. I'm gonna go in and put a generous amount right at the top because like I say, every time I take off my wig, that part is the part that's breaking, you know, cause it's, it's dry. It's dry from the, uh, the little stocking cap that we put on under our wigs and that sucks up a lot of moisture. So you just wanna go in and if your hair is already sectioned off like mine, just run that grease down the parts randomly this ain't nothing major just as long as you get it in there keep the hair moisturized a lot of people don't think grease is conditioner but it is it's one of the best conditioners you can use and i'm gonna spray it with water and this is just tap water right off the sink not drenching it but misting it creating some moisture Creating a soft atmosphere. Doing the, uh, what did they used to call it back in the day? The greenhouse method. Same thing they do with the plants when they want to grow the plants. And it creates a warm environment, right? And what happens to the plants? They grow. <laughs> That's exactly the concept you want to do with your hair. You want to plant a seed and the seed would be your grease with the Indian hemp <laughs> seeds in it. So I'm planting my seed right now. And I'm going to seal the seed with the soil, which would be my conditioner. That's going to seal the, the moisture inside the strands. And I'm just going to take some of this grease and run it down the strands. Like I said, my hair been sitting under those caps. I'm going to keep going all the way around, just rubbing grease down the shaft. And we're trying to get our hair back thick. But I think you can pick up right now where your hair is at in the state that it's in. And you can start creating healthy growth habits from today. So that's what I'm going to do. I might not post every day, but just know I'm here doing this. Even if I'm not on camera. I'm in here doing this every day. Alright, and we're going to just take the grease that we made. Our little concoction blue magic and start rubbing that into your scalp just start and you want to give it a good massage because you want that uh, oil and all of that stuff to start penetrating your hair follicles because we're trying to stimulate some growth I'm trying to get the blood flow to come back to the hair follicles and rejuvenize and regenerate the hair to start growing. So we're just trying to promote it, promote it. Promote your hair to start growing back. I got some strands up in there. Some of it could be breakage from before. That's why it looks like baby hairs, but we gonna get it all right. Right back up in here. My hairline is trashed. <laughs> I mean, it is trash. Y'all ain't even got to come for me in the comment sections below, honey. I did this video because I know I am not in denial. I know my stuff is not right at all. Y'all came to this video in search of and wanting to watch me. Maybe it's because you can relate. Maybe you, when you take off your wig, your hair might not look as bad as mine's do, but you might have some issues up underneath there that you're not so proud of. So just start changing your habits. Start changing how you treat your hair. Show your hair a little bit more love and give it more attention. That's the best way to start. I mean, that is an awesome way to start. Love, just start loving on all your strands. Protect them. Not just under wigs and, and just throw them under a wig and just say, you forgot about them and you forget about them because the wig look good. You got to make sure the hair up underneath is, is straight too. 
and I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I oversaturate my hair with, with product because it's been many a months that I wasn't putting any moisture in my hair. I would be throwing my wigs on, just acting a total fool. I mean, <laughs> a lot of this self damage I've done to myself, and it's like, you know better. What do you, you know better. And I knew I knew better, but I was being so lazy, putting everything ahead of me. And I'm like, I didn't bring this on no one but myself. And so myself is the one that's gonna have to fix this mess. I gotta get it back together. Let me know, let me know what happened with y'all. I mean, I was wearing quick weaves. I was doing sew-ins. I couldn't do much braids because my hairline was already bad and it had been bad for many a year. So me and braids wasn't really a thing. Micro braids, uh, big old doodle braids. I never had braids because my hair was real fine and it really couldn't hold braids like that anyways. Braids would break my hair just because of the density and the heaviness of the the, the uh, cankalon hair. So I couldn't do it, but I overdid the quick weaves overdid the sew-ins and when these lace fronts came into play baby they couldn't tell me nothing but i figured i still got hope because the hair follicles are not dead dead hair follicles is when you don't see i don't know if the glare is right there but when you don't see any any like zero no hair that means your hair follicles are dead and it's beyond repair. You can't even grow them back at all. I mean, you might need to go to a dermatologist or some kind of hair doctor and maybe get the transplant or they transfer the strongest hair off from the nape and transfer it and implant it into the bald areas to help the hair start growing back in that certain spot. But if you are totally slick, like slick, slick, a baby's butt slick, nine times out of ten your hair probably has been damaged beyond the point of repair and it kind of might be uh, a total loss but if your hair has still have these little fine hairs you see these still these little itty bitty hairs that means you still your hair follicles are still there they weak but that's where the nurturing part comes in we're gonna nurture these things back, gonna back go in just with some conditioners like i said we're gonna do the uh the greenhouse method we put our grease in we sprayed it misted it with water we're gonna run the conditioner over and down our shaft that's just sealing in the grease and then we're gonna go over here and get a plastic bag and we're gonna put it over our head and this is gonna be just like a deep conditioning for tonight so our hair will be nice and moisturized by the time we need to get up and go somewhere tomorrow morning, such as work, like I have to. Our hair will be okay to put the wigs back on. This twist was coming out anyways. It's not feeling as moisturized as the rest, so I'm going to put some more grease in it. Just to run some more of that grease down this shaft. Just going to run that down like that. See how that curl just drew back up? And there you have it. That's what we doing. All right, so let me get my bag real quick. I'm just going to put the bag on. Squeezing some of the air out. Trying to trap that heat, your body heat, to create moisture. So we're gonna I'm gonna put on my bonnet, and this is a satin bonnet that I got from my uh, local beauty supply store with the little band around the rim. And it has a lot of moisture in it already because it has my grease just all over it, saturated through it. So at least this bonnet will not dry my hair out either. And this is my night routine that I'm doing starting day two.
Also implementing the hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I'm gonna take two of these. And this is what the peel looks like. You guys probably can't really get a good look on that, but little multi-grain peels. If you're not a peel taker, I, think, I believe they have these at the store in gummies. And I am not a peel taker at all, but I'm getting good because I want to regrow my hair. So I'm, I, I'm willing to swallow these, okay? <laughs> yeah, but that's like our nightly routine. And that is just something very super simple. You want to make sure you keep your hair moisturized. Take your wigs off when you come home. Moisturize your hair, mist it with some water. Water is your number one moisturizer water put a nice base which is your grease amped up on all your essential oils and your grease seal everything in with your conditioner put your plastic bag on any bag from the grocery store put your bonnet on pop two pills stop worrying and rest chill out watch your favorite movie Drop me a comment right. down in the comment section below. Go over and visit the first video. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. But hopefully the channel will grow. Pass on the knowledge, pass on this video, pass on the link to everyone that y'all know that's suffering. They ain't even gotta be suffering. If they just like watching natural hair regrowth regimens, that's what we're doing on this channel. Because I didn't want to set this channel up to be able to hide and cover up our bald spots i wanted to be able to do something to implement growth and promote growth to regrow our bald spots so until next time i will check y'all in my next video